All right, hello everyone. Hello and welcome. Hello, hello. It is a new week. It is a new day. It's a new day, yes it is. Okay, now. <laughs> We're not all going to come out with unicorn horns on and start gyrating our pelvises in the middle of a ring. However, welcome to my gameplay stream for the day. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. I am Darkside Phil, and today... Today we'll be continuing on with my ongoing playthrough of Scarface The World Is Yours. And it's been a bumpy road, admittedly. The game is 10 years old. The game is very dated. The game, sadly, has a lot of issues. Um, just to the point where a lot of the game mechanics in the game aren't very fun. Fundraising, in my opinion, is probably the least fun thing I've done in any sandbox-style game. And, it, you know, it was in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And that is the game that this Scarface game attempts to emulate. So, in a lot of ways, I'm not surprised that it's in it. I just think that in Vice City, it's done much better. Uh, and, of course, when you take a look at future sandbox-style games, like, you know, San Andreas, or Grand Theft Auto 4 or 5, or uh, Saints Row, any game that's had fundraising has found a unique and creative and fun way to do it, while Scarface really is just incredibly repetitive, boring, uh, it's a grind, and the fact that there's a grind in a freaking, uh, in a freaking sandbox game is something else to me. I, you know, I like, give me narrative, give me tons of characters, give me story missions, give me, if I'm gonna get, uh, if I'm gonna be grinding for cash, let me get something out of it. Let me get some amazing payoff, like, you know, great upgrades or zany vehicles, or, no, instead it's just, well, you've unlocked the next leg of the game. Like, oh, that is terrible. The bottom line is, if Scarface didn't have this grinding, uh, I would have been, I would have beaten the game probably last week. I mean, it's a huge amount of padding, right? Huge amount. <clears throat> Alright, so anyway. Anyway, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Today we'll be continuing with Scarface. If you're not aware, at the end of my last stream, the very end of it, tail end, I grinded a bit to get currency... And now I have enough currency to continue on with the plot of the game. However, today we're probably going to hit up the final leg of the game, which is North Beach. North Beach, Miami. Which means, guess what? Even more grinding. Yes, there's going to be even more grinding. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how far we get. You know what I mean? And we'll, we'll go from there. It's certainly, a lot of people have said to me, Phil, if you if the game is so annoying to you with these, you know, some of the archaic stuff in it, why are you still playing it? And my answer is very simple. Just because there's parts of the game that are terrible doesn't mean the entire game is terrible. And I think that this playthrough has had its moments, right? There have been some really fun moments during the playthrough that have happened that made the whole thing worthwhile. So suffering through the crap to get to the good stuff, that's what I've pretty much been doing, all right? <laughs> All right, so, ladies and gents, that's the deal. Today will be Scarface uh, here on stream for about three to three and a half hours. How much of that will actually be valid gameplay that's entertaining and how much of it will be insanely boring grinding for money? I have absolutely no idea. Um, we'll have to see how it goes, okay? We'll have to see. All right, so... Thank you for being here, ladies and gents. Appreciate that. Um, that'll be today's gameplay. Tonight, a lot of people have questions because about an hour ago I tweeted out that tonight I'm going to be releasing a new video on the King of Hate vlogs called The State of DSP Address. Yes, this is going to be an important video because this year, as you know, the year of 2016, I changed up my formula on YouTube in a pretty significant way compared to how I used to do things on YouTube, all right? Uh, I did away with some things, right? <sighs> Excuse me. Like my podcast, that's gone. Haven't done a podcast at all this year. I started up some new things, like reactions videos. I started up a whole new channel called KO Gaming. 
I changed up the method by which I'm streaming and doing live gameplay. It's now a different schedule than it used to be, right? I'm reviewing games a lot more often now. My review style has changed. So a lot of stuff changed this year. And this is a good time right before, literally the day before, we jump into the hardcore gaming season. The new game starting to come out, alright? Now is the perfect time to sit back and kind of analyze how things have gone this year. To tell you what I think has been successful, what hasn't been successful. Um, where I'm going from here, right? Kind of giving you a, a, a clear view of what you can expect from me and my YouTube channels and everything coming up. Not only through the hardcore gaming season, but into next year. Kind of the, the blueprint of what I have laid out. Uh, and also to let you know, you know, how are things doing behind the scenes? Because a lot of people ask, you know, well, it's great, Philip, to play these games and that and this and that, but how's stuff doing overall? Uh, you know, if we were a little nervous earlier this year, if I was going to be able to be able to do this full time in the long run because of a lot of things like me going on a new Machinima contract and all the negativity last year, the, the false copyright strikes that really hurt me badly financially. Um, and so, you know, it was very uncertain what was going to happen. Now, I've maintained a positive attitude all this year, and I think that that's definitely benefited me huge. Um, but what I want to do is kind of outline everything for you guys. So at least those of you who are interested in that kind of stuff, the personal side of stuff and the future of myself on the internet, you'll have an idea what's going on, okay? Um, a lot of people probably won't care. A lot of people just come here. To watch my daily streams of gameplay, watch a review here and there, and that's perfectly fine. That's why this video is going to go on the King of Hate vlogs, so that way people who just don't care about the personal side of stuff can completely ignore the video and pretend like it doesn't exist, okay? So, I'm going to be putting that out tonight. See, the thing is, I used to talk about that stuff all the time on my podcast, Hate Live, but I don't do the podcast anymore. So really, when do I talk about it? I'm pre-streams? every once in a while, and that's about it. Like, I don't have another venue, uh, I don't have another venue to talk about that stuff anymore. I don't do channel updates anymore, right? I don't do any of that stuff. So, this will be a special video taking time out to discuss that side of stuff, okay? And then tomorrow, the new stuff begins. Tomorrow, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, on my first gameplay stream, and King of Fighters 14 on a second gameplay stream. A full day of streaming for you. It should be a good one. Uh, the first, you know, major time when we're having multiple new releases. And, and, you know, one huge AAA release in Deus Ex that everyone wants to see and play. So, finally we'll be getting back to the swing of things. After, uh, seriously, like the last title that I played. <clears throat> that I feel was like a AAA release that people really wanted to see. Honestly. Looking all the way back, I would probably say was Uncharted 4 and Doom. And those were in early May, right? Think about all the games that came out after that. I mean, Overwatch, people had already seen because the beta was already out. That wasn't anything huge, you know. Mirror's Edge Catalyst was a flop. The game fell flat on its freaking face and wasn't good. Uh, you know, there were, and there haven't been really any high-profile uh, releases, over the entire summer, it's just been an incredibly slow time. Uh, even games like No Man's Sky that we thought might have been great ended up being disappointing and crappy, right? So, there you have it. really has since early May. Since early May. It's been so slow for games. I'm really hoping that we have Deus Ex, things pick up in a big way. We can get things back to where they were. People will be excited to tune in for new games and new gameplay every day because of, you know... The, the hype behind the new games and all of that. This is what I've been, you know, hoping to, to get back to. <clears throat> and so hopefully we can, right? Starting tomorrow. And so that's going to be all week. It'll be Deus Ex and King of Fighters. Later this week will be dependent on what happens, you know. How much I play King of Fighters. If I live stream it all week will be dependent on how much people watch the streams. Uh, and show up for them. Because typically the later streams that I do don't get as much attendance than the earlier ones. Which is... <coughs> You know, it's perfectly fine. <clears throat> it's to be uh, expected. And at some point, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll actually do like a first impressions video on either game. I don't know. We'll see. 
I want to play it by ear and then go go from there rather than over promise and under deliver. All right. And then the bottom line is the week after that is huge too with Attack on Titan the game and the Nuka World expansion for Fallout 4. So we've got a ton of stuff going on in the next couple of weeks to lead us into September. Should be a good time. So I hope you'll be here for that ride. Should be a good one. A good fun ride, okay? Outside of all that, I don't have much else to talk about. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Uh, recently, we've got SummerSlam was last night. A lot of controversy, a lot of news around that. Um, it was announced today as a sneak attack announcement. Sony released a, uh, such a such a dishonest fucking article. And you know, I love it when these corporations do shit like this. They released an article. The title of the article is, Oh, here's the new free games for PS Plus in, in, uh, in the next few weeks in August. Oh, good. And you click on the article. Oh, P PlayStation Plus pricing is going up in September. And you're like, you're reading it. You're like, what the fuck does this have to do with the article? Nothing. It's a, dis it's a, dis a dishonest article. If you're going to raise PS Plus pricing for everyone starting next month, make a fucking article about it. So people know about it and talk about it and are aware of it. Not that you sneak it in as a secret message into an existing article about something positive so you can pretend like you, there was nothing negative going on. No. Pricing going up on PS Plus is a big negative. PS Plus was free ever since it launched in 2010 for the PlayStation 3. And it always has been a free service. <sighs> you know? And then all of a sudden when PS4 comes out... They say they're going to charge just like Xbox Live, but I hate to say it, PlayStation Network has not improved. A lot of people said, oh, well, if they're going to improve, then they need to have the financial backing so people would have to start paying. So now everyone does, but it hasn't. We still have inconsistent game releases. We still have finicky performance of games. We still have voice chat on the fucking thing that sounds like you're talking inside of a goddamn tin can. It's terrible compared to what Xbox Live has and always been PlayStation Network is not as good. So to pay money to use PS Plus already is kind of insulting. And now they're going to charge even more. You know, even more on top of it. So people are pretty angry about this announcement. Admittedly, they, they're justified in their anger. Uh, you know, Sony has not lived up to their promises of if you're going to charge for something, you have to improve it. That's why people always paid for Xbox Live and always got a superior experience. You get an inferior one on Sony consoles. And now you're going to pay even more. So people are raging about it right now. But that's what kind of the stuff that's going on around in uh, in the the news section. I don't really want to talk too much about it, honestly. But, very quickly, what I will do is hit up my plugs. And then we'll get started with Scarface. Fair enough, alright? Alright, so without further ado, it's time for the plugs! <laughs> Yes, I'm sure you're very excited for this segment. All right. Um, so first off, thank you for a great year so far. Thanks for watching my streams. Thanks for watching my on-demand videos, no matter where they may be. I appreciate that. Please continue to do so and spread via word of mouth when uh, when fun stuff is around. When you like something, please tell someone else about it. All right. That's how I got popular on YouTube, and that's how I'll continue to be successful. Please follow me on social media. At they call me DSP. Right there on Twitter. At they call me DSP. I put up nightly schedule updates. I put up all kinds of stuff regarding... Like, for example, last night I was tweeting about SummerSlam. Uh, I put up pictures when I do stuff. Instagram links and stuff. It, it's worth it to follow me. And if you do follow me, please retweet and fave stuff that you like on there that I do. Because the bottom line is, social media reach is key to online success in this day and age. So... Please consider following me there. Please check out KO Gaming, my relatively new YouTube channel for edited content, including high quality gameplay. Uh, oh, excuse me. I said that completely wrong. High quality reviews that include gameplay from my raw stuff here on DSP Gaming. Said it in the wrong order. There we go. Um, countdowns, first impressions videos. Just fun off, you know, projects and stuff that I do. Like when I went to Seattle last month, I did a Pokemon Go video about it. And then I just recently did a retrospective on Sonic 2006 because I played the game. All kinds of fun stuff there. All right. So please check it out over at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. By the way, more good news. 
as of this morning, I haven't checked, I'm going to update it right now, my No Man's Sky review, which I just released on Friday, uh, has over 22,000 views. Not too bad for only being out for two days. I am quite pleased with that performance. And, by the way, my uh, KO Gaming channel has gotten hundreds of new subscribers since I released the video. So, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very excited. Um, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. In fact, I'll go as far to say this. If you support what I'm doing on YouTube, you like the style that I do the raw streams and gameplay, not edited stuff like most popular YouTubers do this day and age. If you enjoy this formula where I do vlogging, but I also do edited stuff on another channel, if you want to see me continue to be successful and you want to concretely support the effort, Patreon is the way to do it. Your monthly pledges allow me to continue doing this full-time. It is a huge amount of support that, uh, you know, really honestly has allowed me to continue to do YouTube full-time. If I didn't have the support on Patreon, I would not be able to do this full-time. It's that simple. Um, and you also get stuff for it. It's not like you're just donating money and you get nothing for it. Not only do I continue to get to do this full-time and provide you with free entertaining content on a daily basis, but also you get personal perks, right? You get text and verbal thank yous in my videos. Premium forum access. You get your questions answered on Ask the King, my bi-monthly Q&A show, which will return next month, by the way. Uh, or you can get a private Q&A video made, or in particular, this month, if we hit our funding goal, which is only around $165 now to go, I think, to hit the funding goal, I'll be doing a full playthrough of one of these games, Jack 3, Banjo-Kazooie, or Crash Bandicoot 3. And you, if you pledge $5 or more... We'll be able to vote on which one you want to see. You'll actually have concrete control over which playthrough will take place in September. And I've already said if we do hit the goal, this playthrough will start around mid to late September. Okay? And it'll continue in probably until it's done, which I'm thinking will probably be like into early October. So, please consider pledging if you have not. I hope that you will. This is a great month to do so if you want to see one of these playthroughs happen. And please understand, even if you can't afford $5, I get it. A lot of people don't have a lot of money this day and age. And that's a lot of, to do with the fault of the world economy and the United States government in particular. If you are in the United States, I feel you. But understand that as little as a dollar a month helps me. In fact, the people who are the most successful Patreon fundraisers have a huge amount of people who give a tiny amount that basically means it's negligible. It's nothing. What's a dollar? It's not even a pack of gum anymore. It's not worth anything. You, it's easy to give a dollar away a month, but it adds up for those people, right? If I, I said this before and I'll say it again. If everyone who comes and watches my stuff, who enjoys my stuff, gave a dollar, I would never have to worry about YouTube ad revenue ever again, right? Never. I would never mention it. I would never mention views. I just have complete and utter freedom to do whatever I wanted and have a good living. But the bottom line is we're not there. We're not even close. You know, I've got probably between 150 to 200 people who consistently pledged to my Patreon since the start. Uh, and, you know, if we could increase that to thousands, I wouldn't have to worry about that shit anymore. It's that simple. A dollar a month, okay? It does help. Even if you can't do the $5 pledge to vote, your dollar will contribute towards getting this monthly goal hit. All right? So please consider pledging if you haven't. All right. And then last but not least, my girlfriend Leanna has her own business called The Black Current, where she makes handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. She's been very successful in the year and a half she's been in operation. She's had over 500 orders, 500 orders of product. Pretty crazy. She ships not only in the, domestically in the United States, but to places like Canada, Mexico, Europe, Australia, many different places. All right. So please... Give her business a look. You see the link right on your screen right now. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. And, uh, you know, great stuff. High quality stuff. Don't take my word for it. All right. Take the word of the customers because they've all left testimonials. She's got tons of positive feedback and reviews on the website that you could check out for yourself. Okay. <clears throat> all right, folks. I think that's it. I think it is time to start up with Scarface yet again. All right. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone, for being patient. It's time to begin with the Scarface gameplay stream. Let's do it. Let the rage commence, I guess I should say. 
because this game sure is rage-inducing in a lot of ways. All right, here we go.